first time making a video in years. Like, I used to make videos so often. They used to be just goofy videos. But now, this is a video about my skincare routine because a lot of people have been asking. I posted a picture not too long ago. Two pictures, actually. Um, and they went viral. Like, all over the place. 20K likes, follows. It's just, you know, I just have to talk about it because people were asking and there's so much to get out in DMs. So, I'm just going to put it to the video form. So, first... My skin was horrible the story background is basically i definitely was stressing i am in college so i was stressing but that's no really good way of saying that i was breaking out in the first place um then i started working at this new place i was eating greasy greasy foods very heavy and i never was eating like that because in my house we eat baked food so if you see where the skin started overreacting from that's where it really was coming from to be honest so um i can tell you after i stopped eating there uh, I do eat there occasionally, but not, you know, what I used to, but it stopped. But also I changed my face routine because I was using a bunch of chemicals. I used to go to Sephora and I grabbed these chemicals and I'm like, okay, let's see how these work. Like it'll work and then stop. Everybody had that, that one thing that worked and stopped. And that was frustrating me to the fullest because I'm like, yo, like my skin can really be clear, but this stuff is not working like I want it to. So... I took it to the natural side. I did so much research, which is what I tell everyone to do. Do not put anything on your face and you don't know what it will do to your face. Know your face type. That's that's really just key. Know your face type and know what you're looking for. Um, so I went to anything and everything that had to do with an oily skin type. You know, a, a very easily sensitive face type. I am sensitive as heck. My face is red from my Aztec clay mask I just had on. I have no makeup on. Definitely watch my face before this video. Let me know that now. So, um... Yeah, so let's get started on what I used first. First, like I said, I was using these chemicals from Sephora. Did not work, so I hit the natural side. The first thing everyone told me to try was this. And I was always using it, but for my body, and I never thought I could put it on my face because I thought it would burn. But it's this. This is peppermint. I tried this first, and this was just to exfoliate, like just to open my skin. And I needed it to really breathe, which was part of the issue because I always had it clogged up. Makeup-wise, I am a dancer, so for shows, you know, you got to put the face on. So always had on makeup now we have now when it come on now when it come on then we also have the other soap it looks just like this i don't have any more of the bottle but i have the bar so i'm gonna show you both this in orange so this the cover is orange it is still clear but this is the soap um this one is tea tree soap so if you know of tea tree oil, it's the same thing with soap form. I do use both. The tea tree oil was really good with drying up what was very pussy or oily. So this is the same thing. And this is what I definitely put on every day, day and night. My black soap is on it. But yes, this is what really worked. This right here was doing its job that night. And I was waking up in the morning like, oh, that is you. <laughs> but yeah, this is this. This. Okay this this is tea tree tea tree version of the pure castile soap okay tea tree version this is peppermint this is tea tree this is the one you want to use if you really you know want to feel the difference but like i said research first now i do use that first i no longer use this for my face as much as i used to um i used to use this to steam my skin i would put this on my a thin layer then put a towel over my head uh, of course steam it and yeah i don't really do that no more i just use my tea tree uh so now after that dun, 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 dun. <laughs> well, <laughs> this is called doo osun it is a black soap that we're, this is my second third bar this is my third bar okay um this lasts a while yo like if you know how to take care of your soap as, as far as just lathering throwing it you're cool like that's really all you need with this i lathered it really fast bam and now what i did mean to tell you is i do not use my hands when i wash my face at all i have two different rags if anything i have a rag for my body and i have a baby rag like the little soft ones i have that for my skin i do use that to wash my face three times two times if anything with this first time is to get makeup off or if i have anything on and then I do it a second time just to make sure it's nothing extra. And then, if anything, I probably will do it third, barely. If anything, it'll be quick, like a rinse on, put on, rinse off. But this, I do, I do use my brush with the uh, Doodle Osun. I got this brush for like seven dollars, ten dollars at Sephora. Uh, you don't need a spin brush all the time. You can 
put the muscles in you can use this okay lather really fast and then get in that's all you really need and i just i do it once but i do you know scrub for a little while not scrub but just let the brush do its job just a little bit and this is this gets deep in okay so this is really what worked to be honest um the brush is like a main key the brush and the rag because i don't really trust my hands too much this, this is just with me or anybody i don't trust the hands too much because we get dirt in our nails and no matter how much you scrubbing it you know it's, i feel like it's just germs so i trust my handy dandy brush okay all right so with that after i do both of those my face i do rinse my face with warm then cold water that's just to seal off my skin because when you leave your pores open, who knows what's flying in right after you're done. Okay, so moisturize wise, like I said, I do use my coconut, coconut, coconut oil, and then my shea butter. I do one or the other sometimes. Sometimes if I feel like I just really want to feel that moisture, I'll use both. But I really just use about a finger size. Bam. And that actually does the job because shea butter is very strong and so is coconut oil and they spread really, really, really good. So, with that being said, this is the mask mask time. The things I use mask-wise, which I barely use, exfoliating mask, you know, all that. First, we have my Aztec clay mask. This is already mixed because I uh, I mix a, a good bit so that I can just dip my finger in days after days and use it. With this, I probably use it every other week, but I do it on weekends just so that I know I'm not going outside. I want my face to relax. I want to relax. I feel like this works the best when you're chilling, you know, which is like Sundays. So, it looks like this. I want it to look like this. And it goes on really well still. Like, it's smooth. It may look like it looks weird. But it's actually really smooth. And you put it on and it dries really fast. But I leave it on for about 10 minutes to the max. Um, this, this is mixed with apple cider vinegar. So, that maybe would also help clear my blemishes and scars and stuff. But, oh, listen. It did its job, okay? This is what it looks like. All right, I got it. Like, just, just search it up before y'all use it, okay? Um, don't use anything on your skin and you don't know what it's for. You don't know how your skin, like I said, know your skin type. That's really, like, main key. Know your skin type. Uh, it's, it's a powder, okay? And I have a, yo, like, I had this for all year, y'all. Like, all year. All year. And I'm only here. I, this is, I can sell this. Bag it up. Okay, <laughs> so I know, but listen, I make it like I said, I make a good bit and then seal it off, and I'm using just barely all of it. Like, I literally just dip a finger in, and that's one side dipping up, that's the other side, and I'm chilling. I don't really put it on my nose too much. My nose, I just exfoliate because I don't break out on my nose and my forehead and stuff. It's just here, just that. Now, another mask that I do use is coffee and coconut oil. Now, people were so hype about, oh my god, like that's gonna shave your layers off. Okay. That's what exfoliating is for, okay? Exfoliate, exfoliating low-key is really just to get that dead layer off, not to just be... Like, people really be scrubbing for hours. No. I literally do what I gotta do. Probably, and I probably rub it in as I'm putting it on and let it sit. I'm not gonna keep doing it because I know how bad that can harm your skin. Trust me, I know. Um, so, like I said, I mix these two. And then just let it sit and it wakes your skin right up. You can also add honey to it. I do add honey sometimes. Um, the honey also does help. It's a good lightener for your skin. Um, not like lightening, like making you light skin or whatever, but it like helps. It triggers what it knows it needs to trigger, which is so crazy to me. Lastly, this is what people was on my behind about. Baking soda. I mix my baking soda with my tea tree soap sometimes and I use that as a small exfoliator and I tell you now it works crazy like it probably works better than a chemical exfoliator it is yo like my and I, it literally cleared up probably some of the blemishes that were there and for those who was just like nope that's shaving your skin off what don't ever use that search it look at how many people actually use it to clear up stuff and you don't have to use it every day that's where people y'all follow celebrities so much okay now listen to this okay you don't have to use it every day you don't have to use it every week some people use it every day just to lighten up patches they'll literally just put it in spots okay i'm just using it as an exfoliator i sit it there because i feel it getting where it gotta get i rinse it off and i'll use it probably another month later i do not use it every other week 
I use it every every month because I have my trusted asset claim. So you see what I'm saying? Like I do, you know, do my runarounds with my uh, mask. But other than that, my skin is getting where it has to get, correct? Exactly. So that's, yeah, that's really like what I do for my skin. And then even after that, I would do the same thing. I use my shea butter and my coconut oil or either one to rejuvenate my skin back up. And I, like I said, I rinse with cold water that puts your face right back where it may be sent. Like I have sensitive skin, so I definitely do use cold water for that reason too, because it does burn sometimes after. So I'd be like, all right, I got, you know? So yeah, um, that's my skincare y'all. I tried to make it under 15 minutes and I did it. So this is like I said, my first video in so long. So I'm definitely gonna upload this and send it to people. I'm gonna up I'm gonna make sure you guys watch it. I wanna make sure people who are asking me stuff watch it because this is really helpful. And I know I'm getting so many DMs and I cannot answer all of them. I'm sorry. So what's gonna happen is I'm just gonna have this link to copy and paste, send it to you, watch it, like legit watch it. Seriously. It'll help. Because I had the worst skin in the world. Y'all saw the picture. And everybody's skin is not the same. Just do your research, please. Know your skin type. Know what you're looking for. You know. And I'm here. But, um, thank you guys for watching. I really hope you did watch. I may just make more videos. I like those. I make videos as long. I'm in here packing and whatnot. But, um, yeah. You guys have a good night, good day. And thanks for watching.